Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord in this place. Oh, hallelujah. We magnify the Lord in this place. We honor you, oh God. We lift up your mighty hand, oh God. We bless you and we adore you, Father. We love you, oh God. We bow at your feet this morning. Have your way, oh God, in this place.
know that he's been good to you, if you know that the Father has kept you, it's for no other reason we've come here this morning than to worship and praise the name of the Lord. For he is a strong tower. Those that run in, they find safety. Hallelujah. We thank you this morning, God. We thank you that we have breath in our body. We thank you that we are living. Come on, if that's you, come on, don't stop your worship this morning. Let nothing get in the way.
love it because I want the people of God to understand this. When we're talking about Jehovah Jireh, so many churches have thought, so many churches have taught that he's our Jehovah Jireh, meaning that he will give us materialistic things. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. And so not only is God a releaser and a blesser of material things, but he is also a giver of hope. He's also a giver of joy. He's also a provider of peace. He is our source, so he's also a provider. Come on, if that's you, praise the name of the Lord. If he's giving you hope, if he's giving you joy, if he's giving you rest, if he's giving you direction and understanding, if he's giving you revelation, if he's drawing you closer to him, he is your Jehovah Jireh. He is your Jehovah Jireh. He is your provider. And one other thing. Abraham loved his son Jacob. This is in the Bible where he says he's Jehovah Jireh. He was going into the mountain and he said, my son and I'll be back. Because he had a relationship with God, he knew that he was not going to make him sacrifice his son. But the thing is, the one, the number thing is obedience. Obedience to the assignments. Obedience to the assignment. The Lord is not obligated to provide of us when we are out of his will. He is not obligated to perform a word when we are outside of his will. So when we say he's our Jehovah Jireh, when we say he's our provider, that means we are in the center of his will. And we are using our rights and our privileges as children of the Most High God to sit and say, Daddy, you said you'll provide. Father, you said you'll provide. And we're believing you for it. We're believing you for it.
word. I will be content. Come on, Walter. In every circumstance. Come on, say. Jaira, you are enough. Say, I will be content in every circumstance. I will be content in every circumstance. Hey, Jara, you are enough. He's forever enough, more than enough. He's always enough. Come on, let's sit. I hear you. He's forever enough. He's more than enough. Cause he's always enough. He's forever enough. Always enough, he is born and enough. Yes, he is, he's forever enough. Cause he's always enough, he's born and enough. I will be content in every circumstance. Come on, you say, Jaira, you are enough. I will. was saying earlier sometimes we get confused and we we have it's because the church has caused confusion whenever we say he's providing or he's more than enough we always equate it to materialistic things to something that I need or something that I want but when you really get on your mind that his name is El Shaddai that means that he is more than enough that means that whatever you have now he's more than that He's so much bigger than that. He's so much greater than that. That's why the word of God says that his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways, Rochelle. They're different. They're bigger because he's a big God. He can handle any situation. There's nothing that's too difficult for him. That's why he said he knew his name was going to be El Shaddai. He's more than enough. He knew that on the cross. That he married you. Come on. Forever enough. So he's more than enough. Yes, he's always enough. You are forever. Forever enough, more than enough, it's always enough. Come on, say, forever enough, it's more than enough.
Savior, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, way maker, yeah. miracle worker, oh. promise keeper, yeah. light in the darkness, <laughs> my God, that is who you are. was a believer and stay up stay stay there and I I took a bottle one night it was a bottle of pills and I said Lord I said if things don't turn around if they don't get better I'm gonna take these bottle of pills and I'm out of here and I, I, I for, for whatever reason that night I kept feeling a pulling to go back home and when I tried to go back home, I went outside. Miss Ann, I tried to start the car. It wouldn't start. And I said, okay. I said, if somebody can't come up here and get me, then that means I can't go. 
and then that means I have to take these bottle of pills because it's either that or Lord you're going to save me tonight so I called my sister and my sister which hardly ever says that she'll drive somewhere far right that particular night Rochelle she said I'll come get you she drove up there they came and got me I went to a service and I was sitting on the front row not because I wanted to but because there were no more seats that's where I had to sit so the preacher that night that was preaching you know she preached and then in the end she started prophesying she started calling out things and she called me out nobody knew nobody when I say nobody I mean nobody she called me out and she said you come here and the first thing she said was I bind the spirit of suicide over your life and it was in that moment that I knew how much God really loved me Fanny I knew that his love would never forsake me he will never leave me because his love is too much hey his love is too much it's too great he loves you he loves you he loves you if you don't leave here believe in nothing else this morning in worship I want you to know today that he loves you yes he loves you yes he loves you yes he loves you you are created you're not a mistake Jesus you love me too much
You know, at the beginning of this week, someone shared something. As we were singing about God being our provider, God loving us. You know, back in the Old Testament, it's a man named Joshua. He led a people who were called by God's name to a promised land that God had promised them from the beginning of time. And you know, every time they crossed over a certain part of the land or if, they, if, if God parted the seas and they walked through, if, if God helped them defeat the Midianites, the, the Jebusites, the Amorites, if he helped them defeat them, there was something that they did. They collected stones and they made what's called an altar. And they made this altar as a remembrance to show that it was only God who got us through this. It was only God that helped us defeat these enemies. It was only God that separated these waters and allowed us to go through. But get this. It wasn't just for them to remember, but it was for the generations to come to remember. So I'm saying, listen, your children and your children's children, when they revisit the same things that you visited, they should feel the same way and understand that it is nothing but God that can help us overcome this. It is nothing but God that can see us through this. There is nothing but God to say, God is my provider. God loves us. God gives us hope. But they said, when I built, when I took those stones and built these altars, I want to see if God met me here. And I want to experience God in this area. If I haven't experienced God as my provider in this area, I need to retrace and go back and say, God, I want to experience you as my provider here. If I haven't experienced God's love over here and I built an altar, I want to say, God, I want to experience your love. You already showed me that you can provide for me financially. You already paid on my bill. I've seen all that, God. I want to experience your love. I want to experience your peace. I want to experience your strength. I want to experience your power. I want to experience your anointing. He loves us too much for us not to experience that. We got to go deeper. God, you already showed us what you can do in my household. You showed me what you can do in my bank account. I want to experience something deeper with you, God. I want to experience your unconditional love because I want to love unconditionally. I want to experience your peace so I can give out peace. you but I want to testify about those things I want to be able to tell somebody yes I experienced God's love and if only you can experience it too you will understand how much God loves you yes I, I experienced God's peace and if you would just experience you will understand that even to every time you go into warfare that God will give you peace before you even enter into it my goodness you have to grab that on today you have to grab that on today that God wants you to experience these things about him he's already showed you what he can do but you have to say God I want to experience something else there's so much more to you God that I have yet to experience and you are a God who reveals so I want you to reveal some things about me God that you've never revealed before God I want you to show me some things about you that you never showed me, God. I want to experience the newness, God. The newness, God. The newness, God. The newness, God. The newness, God.
time to give it to the Lord. God has been faithful. And I'm pretty sure that everybody in this room can say that God has been faithful. God has showed you what you can do. This is the time to honor him. So listen, if you need an envelope, just raise your hand. We'll get one to you. See a new face in the place. We'd like to welcome you to the place where the love, the faith, and the worship of God is contagious. This is Contagious Church, and we are contagious. Just fill out a card um, that they're going to give you. We want to connect with you, build with you, get to know who you are, share a little bit about who we are. First time you come, you're a guest. Second time, you're family. We're claiming you. Hallelujah. God is faithful. God is faithful. For those of you here, those of you online that want to use your phones or smart devices, you can go to www.contagious.church. We are one church with two locations. We have this church location here in Charlotte, and we have the main location down in Tampa. If you find a Charlotte location, you can hit the give button. Excuse me. It's as simple as that. You can text to give. In your message box, put give, CLT, to number 813-308-0638. That is give, CLT, to 813-308-0638. You can also give on our cash app, money sign, contagious CLT, money sign, contagious CLT. And if you haven't already, I highly encourage you. See, I've been slacking. I didn't found something out yesterday that I didn't even know. But if you go to your app store and download the Contagious Church app, we have a few good resources on there. You can find the DTI information on there, Contagious Church connections on there. You can find information about Tampa location and Charlotte location. And you can also find out a little bit about Contagious Cares. So you go to your app store, download the Contagious Church app. You can give that way as well. Just Find a shorter location to hit the give button. Hallelujah. 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 God is faithful. We want to honor God. We want to worship God. We want God to know that we withhold nothing from him. So whatever it is that God is placing on your heart today, let it be according to your faith. Hallelujah. We believe in God too. We want to experience new things, even as a church body. We want God to show us things that he's never shown us before. We don't want the typical church experiences. We want new experiences. So we'll believe in God even for that. Listen, thank you to you all for your consistency, your devotion to this ministry, your commitment. It truly means a lot. We cannot do this thing called ministry without you. So I want you to be encouraged and understand that God is doing something amazing and miraculous, even in the life of Contagious Church, with your help. So you guys are truly a blessing, and we are grateful for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If everyone is given that was able to give, we'll pray. Prepare ourselves and our hearts and our minds for the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, most gracious God, we thank you for these, your givers, God, and even these gifts that they have placed, God, into this good ground, God. For we believe that what is sown in good ground will produce a great harvest, God. So we're believing you, Father God, for every seed that was sown on today, Father God. Lord, I pray that you would find your people worthy even in your sight, God, as this is a form of worship, God. We desire to worship you in spirit. And in truth, Father God, and we pray and we are believing you, God, to even take the smallest seed, God, and just to let it have the greatest impact in this world, God. We want to infect the world, Father God, with contagious love, faith, and worship, God, and the truth about you, God. So open every door that needs to be opened, every window of opportunity, Father God, that you have created, God, with each and every gift that was sown on today. Let it be according to our faith that you may get the glory, honor, and praise. 
Hallelujah, God. Now, God, I pray that as we prepare ourselves and our hearts and our minds for the word, God. Lord, I'm believing you, Father God, for a timely word, a timely message, Father God. Speak to the hearts of your people, Father. Whatever it is that they came in here with, Father God, I pray that you would meet them at their need, even with the words that come out of Apostle Reggie's mouth, God. We thank you, God, for using him as a vessel, as a tool and an instrument, Father God, to preach, to pray, to prophesy, and even to proclaim the truth truth about you, Father God. Ignite a fire on the inside of him, Father God, that when he preaches, Father God, he preaches with boldness. He preaches with confidence, Father God. That atmosphere will shift, Father God. That hearts will transform, Father God. We thank you that even we won't even think the same after this message that will be preached on today, Father God. We won't pray the same. We won't walk the same. We won't look the same, Father God. For this will be a transformative message, Father God. And we thank you for this time that we get to spend in your presence, God. Now, God, have your way like never before, God. Let a new word flow out of his belly. Let a new revelation come forth. And God, I thank you. We love you. We bless you. In the mighty, the marvelous, the matchless name of Jesus. We all pray this. Amen. 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 I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I want to declare over God's people this day. I want to declare over God's people in this hour that you are blessed. Come on. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the field. You are blessed when you come out. And you are blessed when you go in. All the nations on the earth shall call you blessed. Come on. Hallelujah. God has created you to shift the culture. God has created you. My God of Zion. God has created you with power. God has created you with authority. God has created you with anointing. Oh, give him praise. Hallelujah. Shout out to God with the voice of triumph. Come on, shout unto God because you have the victory. Shout unto God because you will shift this atmosphere. My God, I'm dying. Oh, yes, Lord. We, your people, we stand in agreement with your word. We will walk in power. God, we stand in agreement with your word that we will walk in the authority of God. Father, we agree with your word that no weapon that is... No weapon form will prosper. Oh, listen, I'm telling you, you're on the verge of your breakthrough because you decided not to give up. Come on, you're on the verge of your breakthrough because you've decided to keep going. You do high glory to God. You're on the verge of your greatest breakthrough ever. Come on, this is my God. I want to prophesy over God's people that this will be the best season. My God of Zion. This will be the season where you pursue and cover it. Hallelujah. Recover it all. Hallelujah. The devil has stolen. Ha, glory to God. Yes, Father. The devil, has, the devil has stolen your joy. The devil has stripped your peace away from you. But I declare, hallelujah, that the king of kings, come on, and the Lord of lords, he will restore your peace. Come on, he is the prince of peace. Come on, he is the great I am. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright and the morning star. May you testify that God has given you all that the devil has stolen sevenfold. We declare and we decree it to be so, and it shall not be otherwise. Come on, clap your hands, all your people. Come on and give your God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, God.
me tell you something. your hand for war. Come on, at the, listen, hallelujah, I'm reminded of the word of God, that the children, my God, the first city that they begin to go in the land and occupy, hallelujah, it was Jericho. God gave them an instruction. He told them to walk around the wall. Come on, hallelujah. There is my God of Zion, and as they begin to walk around the wall, and as they begin to, my God of Zion, follow the instructions of God at the appropriate time, he told them to shout. And as they open up their mouth to shout, the walls came down. I glory to God. May every wall come down. My God, that you may occupy the fortified city. May every wall come down. My God, that is blocking you from your purpose. May every wall come down. You got to know when to open up your mouth and shout. And God is saying, and God is saying to his people on this day, God is saying to his people on this hour, I will show you how to war. Listen, you've been fighting things that God has told you to be silent about. And you open up your mouth prematurely. But I declare it, I declare upon God's people that he will give you grace. He will give you wisdom. He will give you your voice. He will give you power. He will give you authority. He will give you dominion. Don't talk when God is saying it's time to be quiet, daughter. Don't talk when God is saying it's time to shout, son. Who am I preaching to this morning? You got to know when to open up your mouth. God himself will teach you how to war. My God, you can even war in silence. Come on, you can praise God in silence. It is in the secret place that when you begin to praise him, when you begin to worship him, my God, he will reward you openly. It's time for war. It's time for war. It's time for war. My God, the devil, he has wreaked havoc upon your marriage for too long. My God, I'm sorry. The word declares. The word declares. How will you know it was time for battle? Hallelujah, because there will be a sound released in the atmosphere. Our soldiers get ready for war. Uh, get ready for battle. Get ready to fight. Send you the first. You the first. We will send 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 you the first. What is your war cry? Open up your mouth. What is your war cry? What is your war cry? Send you the first. Send you the first. We will send you the first. Hallelujah. Yes, God. We your people, we are getting in position. Father God, we are readying ourselves that we will stand firm, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We will go, we will declare your word. We will decree your word. We will shout it upon the rooftop. We will shout it upon the mountain. My God. You're not getting in position. Authority. Just to look pretty. You're not getting in position. Just to look handsome. But we you're getting in authority. position. Hallelujah. To take back everything the devil has stole from you. We take authority. We take 
in this hour when everybody else is scared you will go and start the fight with the devil called Goliath when everybody else is my God being taunted by the enemy don't be afraid of the faces you will begin to tear down fear don't be afraid of the faces and the Bible declares as bravery rose up on the inside of David, the same army that was once fearful began to unite and to collaborate and lock arms with David. I declare hallelujah because of your act of bravery that my God, you will cause people that were once fearful to walk in their power. You will cause people that were once fearful to walk in the authority of God. about to fortify his kingdom you will stand your ground hallelujah and the devil will not be able to penetrate my God hallelujah but you will keep him at bay as you begin to pray as you begin to open up your mouth come on hallelujah you will cause great success you will cause the enemy to flee though he comes in one direction he will flee in seven who am I preaching to
victorious in the atmosphere. You're victorious over Charlotte. You're victorious over North Carolina. You're victorious. We take authority. You're victorious over our region. You're victorious over our family. You're victorious over our bodies. You're victorious. We take authority. You're victorious. We will rise up. You're victorious. We will rise up. You're victorious. to the house of God in great expectation and great anticipation the Bible declares that there was a man of God who began to look upon the disciples who began to look upon the apostles and the Bible says that they expected to receive something from God hallelujah I want to tell somebody in this room I want to tell somebody who may be watching on Facebook that as you begin to come in great anticipation of what God is about to do I'm telling you that he has heard your cries that he has heard your prayers hallelujah there was somebody in this room that was on the verge of giving up but God is saying hallelujah there is another level of fight in you This altar is open. I want to impart another level of strength upon God's people. And I want to tell you, come on, hallelujah, that listen, you don't have to fight this fight alone. But God is saying, hallelujah, that I'm sending willing vessels that is going to come up along beside you. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to give the devil a black eye. This will be the last time that you're being tormented, that you're going to and fro in your mind. My God, listen, you are anointed. Glory to God. Woman of God, you're on the verge of giving up. God said that you cried in yourself. You literally cried yourself to sleep. And the pressure on your life has been so heavy. And you've been burdened down. But God said that there is great work for you. There is a great work that I have to do. And you would listen. Don't you give up. Don't you believe another lie of the enemy. And the word of the Lord over your life is therefore now. There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Lord, I thank you for restoration. I thank you for healing. I thank you now. Lord, that she will sleep and she will rest. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Hallelujah. We call strength upon you now. The strength of God. May the strength of Samson rise on the inside of you. Mighty warrior, come forth. I speak to every dormant thing. I'm In the name of Jesus. 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 In the
of Jesus, Father God. Break, break, break. Break, you break, never break. Need. you to fight and you got to know this and your fighting has not been in vain God said that there's a new level of strength that is going to hit you there is a new level there is a new power there is a new dimension and God said listen God said that you've sown with tears but you shall reap with joy Go, 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 go,
treasures of your hearts of your people. Burn afresh. Burn afresh. Burn afresh. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Fresh revelation. Fresh impartation. Hallelujah. To do the work of the Lord.
Let me tell God's people something. Sometimes you have to tarry and be led by what God is telling you to do. And I declare over God's people this hour that the things that you've been going, you feel like, Lord, every time you feel like you get a breakthrough, you say, Lord, this thing comes back. You know, the word of God declares that when a man is free, hallelujah, when a man becomes free, hallelujah, glory to God. The devil, he will try to come back and bring seven more spirits more wicked than the first time. But I declare that your house shall be swept clean, that there shall not be any entry points, that there shall not be any access points to give hold of the enemy. God, I thank you that your people are being free for whom the Son has set free. It's truly free indeed. No more. You go back around and deal with the same demonic entities that has been warring against your soul. But we thank you, Lord, that your people have been free. That your people, hallelujah, have been sealed by the Spirit of God. That your people don't have to worry about this old enemy. But the word declares, be ye renewed, hallelujah. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And God, may you give them new thoughts. God, may you give them new wine. Hallelujah, may you give them new vessels that may absorb the new level of anointing that they received in the level of impartation that they received this day. And Father, we just thank you that you will testify, hallelujah, of your goodness and your mercy and your grace, that your people will testify, hallelujah, that you are a good God, that it is your will that your people will testify, that you've come to set the captives free, hallelujah, whom the Son has set free is truly free indeed. Let your people testify that God, you are a God that cannot lie. You are a man that you cannot lie. Neither the son of man you have to repent. After you said it, shall you not do it? Have you spoken it? Shall you not make it good? You were created in the image of God. You were created with the power and the abilities and authorities of God. Hallelujah. Whom the Son set free, He is free indeed. Whom the Son sets free, great victory. He is free indeed. Great victory. Whom the Son sets free, great victory. entangled again into the yoke of bondage but God he is destroying every yoke every yoke of oppression every yoke of bondage every yoke is destroyed hallelujah every yoke is destroyed every yoke is destroyed every yoke is destroyed every yoke is destroyed come on declare it every yoke is destroyed Every yoke is destroyed over my life. Every yoke is destroyed. Raise your voice. Every yoke is destroyed. Raise your voice. Every yoke is destroyed. Raise your voice. Every yoke is destroyed. 
was going to come, not his people. But the word of God declares when we draw nigh unto God, that he will draw nigh unto us. And there is great levels of strength. Come on, hallelujah. Even in the days to come, people are going to look upon you and say, how in the world is it that you're able to still fight? Because God says that there is a new strength coming to my people. How is it that you're able to stand? Stand now, hallelujah, in the liberties that God has promised. God, stand free now. In the things that God said concerning you, stand free now, hallelujah, because God, my God, his word will not fail. The grass withereth and the flower faded, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. I'm going to say this and I'm going to get out of your way. 
God knew that you needed another, that you need a part of heaven, that he, hallelujah, let me tell you something, glory to God, God the Father is sitting in heaven, God the Son is sitting on the right hand of the Father. And he said, listen, tarry ye here now until you have been endued with power from on high. In order, yes, God. Lord, sweep this place again, Lord. Hallelujah. Sweep it again, Father God. Oh, touch your people, Father. Touch your people again, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Terry. That means wait for it. Tarry for the promise. That means wait for it. Hallelujah. Until you have been endued with power from on high. In order to shift God's culture, there is a measure of power that God has to release upon his people. Hallelujah. And I thank you now. And ye shall receive power. Hallelujah. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Power to tread upon serpents. Hallelujah. Power to tread upon scorpions. Uh -huh. Listen, this level of power, there are certain things that God is going to cause you to tread upon. That's why the word declares that he will make your enemies. He will make your enemies his, your footstool. Hallelujah. Listen, that means the enemies are part of your assignment in the earth. Hallelujah. May God release the enemies. My God, that, they, uh, that his power may be revealed even no more. Uh, Kadama, listen, it is not for you to be fearful. For the Lord is not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power, of a love, and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. God raise up every culture shifter. Oh, Hosha. Don't look at them strange as if, if I'm making this thing happen on my own accord. It is by the power of God. Don't look upon us strange. It is by the anointing of his spirit. How he sent the comforter, my God, hallelujah, to come alongside us to help fight the devil. His wandering works and his power shall be revealed through his hallelujah his great and his prize for prize possession when god created man he says that you are very good place hallelujah I declare over this place a new wave of glory hallelujah let it my a next wave of glory my God for God you said that you've taken us from glory to glory to glory another wave of glory Lord we declare it over your people Lord we your people we receive it now by faith God we declare it now by faith in the name of Jesus Oh God. Here's a wave of glory. 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 I've been through too much. Now, to worship him. To worship him.
assignment. May the angels of the Lord carry your people in the realm of the spirit that neither their feet shall dash against the stone, but Lord, that they will land in safety. God, for you are our safety. You are our hedge of protection. Father, you are our present help in times of trouble. And we declare and we decree that your word to be true. Let every man be a liar. And we will forever give your name glory. We will forever give your name honor. And we will forever give your name your new praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Hallelujah. Come on, help me celebrate your king. Oh, come on, clap your hands. Shout out to God. Oh, come on. He's been too good to you. Yes, God. after that hallelujah let us stand we prepare ourselves to dismiss God is truly amazing and I pray that you all came in expecting you know the amazing thing about God is that we get to experience a new side of him every Sunday church is not the same every Sunday and I'm just grateful that God allows us to experience his glory and his his power in, in different ways each and every Sunday but listen I don't want you to just keep it here I want you to carry the residue out there into your streets, into the jobs, into your workplaces, into your homes. Carry this residue out there because people in this world, they're not just lost. They're longing for something like this. They just don't know that that's what they're longing for. So we have to carry that residue. Amen? Amen. Let it all be contagious. Hallelujah. We're going to pray, and I got a, just a brief announcement after. I just don't want to say it. In the midst of this, but let us pray and close. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your presence in this place, God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, Father God, and just another opportunity to experience the richness of your glory, God. For you are a true and a living Father. And we come together, God, just to say thank you for one more Sunday that we get to spend with you. Now, God, abide in us as we abide with you. As we depart this place, God, let us never depart from your presence. But, Lord, let your angelic coast be encamped about us, God, keeping us safe to and from our destinations. God, be with these, your people. Encourage them. Strengthen them. Lord, give them all that they need to see that they walk out this faith journey and they're effective in their witness. Lord, we thank you when we pray. Now unto him who was able to keep us from stumbling and make us stand in the glory of his presence, blameless with great joy. I said blameless with great joy. Be glory, honor, dominion, power, majesty, might before time now and forevermore. In the precious name of Jesus we pray and in the power of his spirit. Amen? Amen. Listen, so of course we all know that they have this mass mandate going on. So we have to be obedient. We have to follow suit. So it's not only the churches that have been given this mandate, but public places as well. So the hotel has this in place as well. So I know I hate wearing masks. I know you probably hate wearing masks, but let's just be obedient and, and do what needs to be done because you have to think about it. We don't want the hotel to be fine for us not wearing them. So let's just come together and do it. I know you guys probably don't want to wear it, but we can do this together. Amen. Amen. God is faithful. God be praised. Come on, say, I will make the love, the faith, and the worship of God contagious. On the count of three, we are contagious. <laughs> One, two, three. We are contagious. She's fanning herself. <laughs> the fire is on her.